The Piper M350 debuted in 2015, and it's an improved version of the Malibu Mirage with the same wings but new avionics, electronic stability protection, stall prevention, and other improvements. Here is everything you need to know about the Piper M350. Stay with us till the end of the video to learn more. The Piper M350 is a single-engine, turbocharged, piston aircraft with retractable tricycle landing gear that seats six people in a low, pressurized configuration. It has cabin-class accommodation as well as all the safety measures. The exterior lights are all LED for improved service life. A small storage compartment in the underwing radome and another in the tail provide convenient, externally accessible storage for light items. Cabin access is quite dignified for a light airplane, with entry via a two-part clamshell door and stairs. The aircraft's hypoxia safety system is one of the most often mentioned characteristics. The M350 offers several appealing features, including a comfortable, aesthetic-pleasing, and ergonomic cabin. The plane has one of the best interiors in its class including luxury leather, carpet, and wood metal detailing. With one of the most extensive upgrade choices available, the Piper M350 is also one of the finest alternatives in its class of six-seater piston aircraft in terms of performance, safety features, comfort, and upgradability. The PA46 Malibu Mirage serves as the basis for this design. With the M350's bleed air, you may fly at 25,000 feet or 7,620 meters and still reach cabin altitudes of 8,000 feet or 2,440 meters. This greatly improves comfort. The cabin's interior is equally as significant as the cabin's altitude in terms of comfort. In addition, the Piper M350 has a better cabin design. A spacious cabin, power outlets, lighting controls, beverage holders, a work table, and seat controls for each passenger contribute to the cabin's high level of comfort. Passengers will arrive calm, refreshed, and ready for anything thanks to six luxury leather seats and a large in-cabin baggage compartment, among other amenities. The cockpit environment in crews leaves little to be desired. Owing to the pressurization, air conditioning is standard equipment on the M350. Yet perhaps the most significant upgrade making the M350 different from the previous model Malibu Mirage is its advanced avionics, which Piper likes to talk about. The Piper M350 comes with a Garmin G1000 NXI avionics suite that is used in many current general aviation aircraft. The G1000 NXI system is an upgraded version of the legacy G1000 glass flight deck platform increasing its capabilities. The G1000 avionics suite includes dual 10.4-inch primary flight displays and one 12.1-inch multifunction display and a whole lot of capability. There is more processing power in the M350 avionics as well as higher resolution displays and an enhanced operational feature such as surface watch runway identification and wireless cockpit connectivity via Connext. Standard equipment in the M350 also includes synthetic vision and a yaw damper. The aircraft's safety systems are probably the most often mentioned features. These include a pulse oximeter. In the event of hypoxia-induced loss of control, the autopilot will enforce safe flying parameters by starting an automated descent to a safer altitude. It will also prevent the aircraft from stalling if it is traveling too slowly, seizing control and lowering the nose, which should motivate the pilot to add more power. The electronic stability protection system provides additional flight envelope protection from roll-up sets while hand flying. It automatically engages servos to input corrective forces should the pilot encroach upon safe limits. A further neat Garmin innovation is the big blue LVL button on the instrument panel, which serves as a sort of panic button to quickly return the aircraft to a wings-level attitude with zero vertical speed. 
M350 employs the GFC 700 autopilot to aid in the approach and landing. The autopilot transitions from en route flying to the terminal area using WAAS GPS-based guidance from the NXI system. It has a three-degree glide path that can be autopilot coupled down to pilot selectable minimums for most runways. When the weather is clear, the NXI series improves situational awareness by including visual approach capabilities. The Piper 350 is powered by a dual turbocharged, fuel-injected Lycoming TIO 540 AE2A six-cylinder piston engine with a TBO of 2,000 hours that produces 350 horsepower and a three-blade Hartzell constant speed composite propeller. With this combination, the M350 has a maximum cruising speed of 213 knots and a fuel burn at 75% power of 20 gallons or 75 liters per hour. This means it can travel from Chicago to Salt Lake City or Phoenix or from London to Naples, for example. When it comes to performance, the Piper M350 is a piston single that delivers just what you'd expect. It has a maximum range of 1,343 nautical miles or 2,500 kilometers and a ceiling of 25,000 feet or 7,620 meters. It's a well-balanced and easy-to-fly aircraft. The plane has a nice yaw damper to combat the tendency to yaw when flying through turbulent air. This keeps the aircraft's excellent handling qualities intact. The M350 has a takeoff distance of 2,090 feet or 637 meters and a landing distance of 1,968 feet or 680 meters. It has a maximum payload of 1,200 pounds or 550 kilograms, a fuel capacity of 120 gallons or 455 liters, and a maximum takeoff weight of 4,340 pounds or 1,970 kilograms. The Piper M350's standard equipped list price is $1.3 million. Based on the combination of extras added, Used M350 costs are approximately $1 million. Piper is just as open in terms of operational costs as they are in terms of prices. While the total fixed cost is estimated at $32,000, the M350 maintenance labor cost is $47 per flight hour, and engine restoration costs are calculated at $43 per flight hour based on standard overhaul and hot section inspection. Considering these and other miscellaneous things, the total variable cost is estimated at $350 per hour. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.